Hey everyone, I'm going to be making a couple density plots today. Change this to density. Uh, I'm going to make an unfilled density plot and then a filled density plot. I'm going to be using the same data set that I used for my scatter plot with marginal distributions. I'll link to that video below. Uh, but just really quickly, it is a short data set with uh, just different information about different cars. But the two things that I'm going to be plotting are city and highway mileage. And I'll plot the scatter plot that I had in a previous video. Pretty simple scatter plot, right? A density plot is going to show us where these points are dense and where they're not dense. And it's real simple. We can call geom density 2D. And in some cases you might have like X, Y and then a value and you'll have to specify Z. But for us, we're just looking for the uh, density, like where they are or where the, where the plots are. And so for that, you can just do dot, dot, level, dot, dot. We'll hit run. And there it is, right? There's your density plot. It's hard to see with this coloring, uh, but it is make it a little bit bigger it is brighter blue in the more dense uh, areas right? So you see this large density here so that's good another way to do this is to actually make it filled and so we'll go down here this is the same scatter plot that we had before but now I'm gonna do geom density 2D filled, it's gonna be the same thing, AES, call your aesthetic, set the color equal to level, and run it. And there you go, now you've got a filled one, it's a little bit easier to see the, uh, the color differences. So there you have it, short and sweet today. Uh, hope you find this uh, useful. Not too useful doing highway mileage and city mileage that I can think of, but uh, if you've got like positional data, X, Y, and then you know some Z component that you're trying to figure out, okay, well, where does a lot of Z occur within this X, Y uh, reference frame, then you know that's a, a really good use case for it. But I just wanted to give a brief example, and this was a quick data set that I have access to. So hopefully you find it helpful. Uh, drop any questions you have in the comments below.